Ethiopian customs prohibits returning citizens from importing vehicles. The only people with diplomatic status allowed to import fuel-powered vehicles. The ability of Ethiopians to import their vehicles when they move permanently back to their country from abroad has been eliminated according to a new rule by the Ethiopian Customs Commission. The Commission's decision to restrict auto imports indirectly places greater risks on Ethiopian auto dealers. The action follows the government's decision to forbid the use of foreign exchange to import 38 commodities, including fuel-powered cars, in October of last year. Despite the limitations, several loopholes allowed for the ongoing importation of a sizable number of cars. International organizations, diplomats, returnee Ethiopians, and people possessing letters of credit, LC, that were authorized prior to the ban all received exemptions. However, the Ethiopian Customs Commission revoked these advantages, with the exception of those who hold diplomatic status, in a letter signed by Commissioner Debel Kabeda, dated August 17, 2023, and issued to the branch customs offices. In reaction to the finding of operational faults, including a troubling number of automobiles being imported under the pretense of returnees, the Commission has tightened its restriction on automobile imports. Despite the fact that some importers were able to extend their letters of credit, LCs, issued before the October ban, those with extended LCs will now be included. According to the letter sent by the Commission, the strict prohibition applies to automobiles imported in the name of returnees or importers with extended or new LC approvals. The letter also made clear that the Franco Valuta system's current import limits on cars will still be upheld. In the letter, the Commission issues a warning that any breach of this restriction, for example, seeking to import or aiding in the importation of automobiles for which foreign currency allocation is prohibited, will result in legal action. Insiders familiar with the matter revealed that the previous loopholes resulted in legal disputes and put vehicle buyers at a disadvantage. The consequences were significant from a legal perspective, explained one market insider, shedding light on the Commission's decision to eliminate these privileges. A customs transit operator, accredited by the Commission, confirmed being informed of the decision this week during a visit to a branch office. A significant number of vehicles were being imported using the returnee rights, as importers faced limitations on fuel-powered automobiles, the operator stated. According to the transit operator, the Commission's decision is the right move, as they have observed a massive trade volume of automobiles that raised suspicions.